this video we're going to go over the switch statement and we're actually going to use it in this video to write a random month generator. I think the best way to learn stuff is from actually seeing examples. Uh, just a disclaimer, I really don't use a switch statement that often. I've actually only used it once. Uh, switch statement is basically like a if statement or a whole bunch of if statements and you just put them all together and it's really quick to write but it's not as dynamic so I just don't use it, but they are useful at times. First thing I'm going to need to do is get a import, so import java.util.star. And then let's generate a random number. We want it to be between 1 and 12, 1 will be the month of January, 2 is February, all the way through 12 is December. So we're going to say int month equals int. I'm going to generate this one a little bit differently than I have in some other videos. Um, uh, that will just show you a few different ways that all this stuff can be done. Times 13. And I believe that's correct. So now for the switch statement. For switch statement, you type in switch. That's easy enough to remember. The variable that's going to be used in it. So the variable month is what we're bringing in. And then we start our curly braces, and we'll put a comment there for switch. The first thing that we do in there is we do case 1. And this 1 means that if month is 1, we are going to print out January. We put a break statement after each line. Go down to case 2. Much same thing. February, eh. since I'm coding I should probably have some kind of uh, convention here, always have space or always not, but it doesn't really affect the code at all. Uh, you can really put in a lot of extra spaces, almost anywhere where there's just one space and it won't affect stuff. Give that a break. I actually cheated a little bit before this code. I have all that written out already. Uh, I just copy and pasted it, but I promise you there is nothing that you wouldn't expect. Case 1, January break, case 2, February break, case 3, March break, so on until we get to case 12, December break. And then if I run this program, it'll pick any random number between uh, 1 and 12, and then display that month. So if I, oh, you can't really see the outputs there. There they are, July, just running this over and over. As you can see, bottom right here, keep getting a different month each time. And it's not throwing any errors because my random number generator is going between 1 and 12. Well, let's see, you got January. Thought it was working. It may not. Let's see if it got January. Yeah, it should be working, right? Uh, I'm going to pause the video for a second and find out the error in it. Okay, so I found the problem, uh, and I actually want to show you all how I found it. I think it's a good teaching moment. What I did was I added in a case zero, and I printed out a message saying we got to zero, and I also added a case 13 saying we got to 13. Right here at the bottom, you can, say I ran, you can see I ran this a few times. I got to zero. I actually ran a whole lot of times and got there, but I just wanted to go to that again and pause it on there, let you all see that. So, something also came out with is it did say we got to 13 at a time. So, what I'm going to do to fix this is bring this to 12. So, I only go up to 12. So, that gets 0 through 12. But still gives me with too many months. So, I'm going to go to 11. So, that will give me the 0 to 12 range. But, I'm in that case, I've taken out December and I need that month. Well, December is... What it will still do is it will still print out the case zero. So then just put December there. And what's going to happen is it will... Really, it won't choose December anymore often for being at the beginning of the list. Uh, now if I run it a whole lot of times, I'm going to make sure it gets every month on the list, September, May, January, April, let me pause this real quick. 
Okay, so you see here that it got to December, so it's doing the first thing on the list. Now I need to run it until I get to November to show you that it's still outputting that. Alright, after running this a whole lot of times, it never said November. It went to October like three or four times, so I'm going to iterate this number up one and try this again. Okay, last time I'm unpausing it. And it really does make sense with the code how it is that 0 through 12 would give me... Well, that'll give me the range I needed to. It'll give me 12 different numbers, which 0 is the first one, 1 is the second one, all the way through 11 being the 12th one. So the program is working just fine now. I'm actually kind of glad that we ran into those errors. Anyways, I hope this video has helped you a little bit, help you understand the switch statement, even if you're like me and you never use this thing again. Anyways, hit that like button down below. There's also a comment section, so leave me a comment. And do not hit the subscribe button. There's going to be too many videos. It's going to spam you. Thanks for watching.